Hello, YouTube world. Thanks for checking in the Cali's take. Now, this take, we'll be talking about the reaction between the Los Angeles Clippers and the Brooklyn Nets. Now, before we get into the video, please like, subscribe, leave any comments. Also, please hit the notification bell to, to get the newest content first. And also, please check out my prior videos to this one. I think you'll find the content to be rather intriguing. And I'll leave comments on those as well. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. <clears throat> the ending score of this game was 120 to 124. Could have went either way because when you think about it, the way the Clippers played this game, they played it good enough to win, of course. Now, there was a couple calls at the end where I thought maybe, you know, the Brooklyn Nets got away with something, uh, especially the James Harden, you know, the three that he so-called got fouled on with uh, Marcus Morris on him. I thought that that was a little bit, uh, mm, I thought that was a bad call, but at the same time, you, hey, the games like these come down to a wire for a reason. Now, Kyrie ended up with 39 points. Um, Kyrie was just cooking. Kyrie was just like going off. He, Kyrie was just like lit, just doing his whole thing. But, um, you know, I still give the Clippers credit. I mean, they came out, they played really good. And I thought they would win the game because the Clippers usually play better defense, but they didn't play better defense tonight. Um, they did get some good scoring from Kawhi. I think he ended up having 33. So, um, you know, hey, no shy there. And uh, I think uh, Paul George had maybe uh, 26 points, something like that. Right. So, when you think about it in its essence, if these two teams meet in the NBA Finals for some reason, I think it'll be an awesome seven-game series. Matter of fact, I think it'd actually be a better seven-game series with the Clippers versus the Nets rather than the Lakers versus the Nets, me personally. I think the Lakers versus – I just don't think the Lakers would have a chance because LeBron is older and uh, him trying to guard KD and Kyrie – uh, he'll be too tired. At least Kawhi Leonard is a little bit younger, so at least him guarding one of those two players. I mean, it's hard for him to guard him too, but he can get some steals, and, you know, he can make some big plays himself, and, you know, he definitely has um, the endurance to do so. I'm not saying LeBron doesn't have the endurance, but when you have to guard a big three like that for seven games, it's going to be really tough because definitely, you know, AD would have to be on KD, but then who's going to stop the other two? It would be too hard. So um, my personal opinion, this would be the best finals if it was to be one. But this game was a really great game. Had a lot of highlights and a lot of good things in it. And I took away a lot of good things from this game based upon what I saw from both teams. You know, I feel like the, the Nets, they needed a win like this because it solidified that they're going to be a problem going forward, which we already knew that. But I also think that the Clippers played good enough to win this game and they should have won to solidify themselves as a dominant team, you know, in the NBA. But at the same time, they're still a dominant team because, you know, as currently constructed, I believe they still have the number one seed, I believe, in the West. So, you know, it's no 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 flutter there. But at the same time, like I said, I thought this game was really interesting. It came down to the wire, of course. And um hey, shout out to Nicholas Batum, man. That guy be hitting some big shots. That dude be hitting some big shots all the time. So, Nicholas Batum, definitely give a shout out to him. Um, I think the Clippers probably would have won this game if, if if PG scores 30 points. You know, PG ended up having 26, but I, I think if PG scores 30, I think they beat uh, I think they beat this team. You know, so um, maybe next time they play each other, um, if there is a next time, I think it'll definitely be some fireworks going uh, once again. I expect the score, if they play each other again, whether in the finals or whether somewhere down the road, if possible, I expect the score to be somewhere near the same, like 125, 130-ish between both teams. So uh, both teams play really good and both teams really, really um you know, brought out the brought out the good in each other. You know what I'm saying? I thought that was uh big for them to do. So with that being said, like I said, I'm really uh I'm I'm really excited for both teams and I like what the Nets are doing. I like, you know, um the Joe Harris, you know, uh, Joe Harris is of the world. I like I, I like him as a as a as a backup for them. I mean if he's like their fourth leading scorer, then that's a pretty good fourth leading scorer because that dude can shoot lights out, you know. So I'm definitely gonna give him credit there. So um yeah, uh, when I look at the game all in all on its own though, um I feel like like I said, I feel like the Clippers could have did a little bit more as a team. I feel like Kawhi did enough. I feel like I feel like if Kawhi could have got a little bit more help, just a tad bit more from PG. Like I said, PG scores thirty points. 
and Kawhi has 33, I think the Clippers win this game personally. But um, but yeah, like I said, uh, I, I think um, it was a really good game. I, I expected a little bit more out of Serge Ibaka, though, just because I thought the matchup would favor him, you know, over uh, DeAndre Jordan. Even though DeAndre Jordan, you know what I'm saying, can defend in the paint a little bit. But Ibaka has the three-point shot, so I figured that would, like alter the situation, you know, in Ibaka's favor, in the favor of the Clippers. But I think Ibaka, man, I think he only had like nine or 10 points, something like that. So I don't even think he was really even a factor. But um, I think Reggie Jackson had like nine or 10 points too. So I don't even think he was really a factor this game. So but when you um, look at that and uh, look at this game in totality, I mean, I like I said, these two teams are high power. These two teams definitely could meet up in the finals. And I definitely would love to see exactly how it would pan out. Uh, I think it would be nothing but fireworks. And me personally, after seeing this game tonight, I'm actually voting for these two teams to make it to the finals because I would love to see these two teams play each other in a seven-game series because if they do, I'm telling you, for some reason, if they play in a seven-game series, I believe the Clippers might be able to beat them. Now, that's really, really hard to say based off this game. I know that, but at the same time, the Clippers, they're on to something. Like I said, their offense is better. They're just a better overall team. And the way Ty Lue has his team playing, if they just continue to keep playing the way they do and play better defense, you know, in which they can do that because they got two of the best defenders in the league, wing players, you know, and Kawhi and PG. If they play better defense and keep this going, you know, as far as how they're playing offensively and sharing the ball and, you know, playing just really great basketball overall, I mean, I think they can beat a team like the Nets, even though the Nets by then, they'll be even more seasoned. They'll be more, they'll have more camaraderie. They'll be more together as a team. I get that. But I'm telling you, if a seven game series happens between these two teams, I personally feel like the Nets and the Clippers, it'll go seven games, but I still believe the Clippers might pull it out. And um, because, like I said, overall, defense is what really matters. And when you look at both of these teams, Brooklyn is not going to have more defensive winning games than the Clippers. The Clippers are going to win more games by their defense all throughout this season rather than the Brooklyn Nets will. Because the Brooklyn Nets, they'll have some defensive stops here and there, but they're mainly just going to be all offense. So you could put up 125, 130 on them. I mean, you're good, you know. So, um, like I said, this is a little slip in the road for the Clippers, but I still think Kawhi Leonard played good. I thought PG played pretty good. You know what I'm saying? They could have got a little more contribution, like I said, out of the Ibaka. And, um, uh, man, what's the, what's, what's the boy's name there? Uh, Reggie Jackson. I keep... I keep confusing Reggie Jackson with somebody else. So, um, but yeah, they could have got a little bit more out of him. I think they pulled this game out, but, um, you know, like I said before, you know, it's just going to be really tough. Like when you look at that big three between Kyrie and Katie and, and Harden, I mean, they're, it's going to be really hard to stop them. So, I mean, I understand that with all three of them scoring over 20 points, I think, uh, you know, uh, I think um, KD had 28. Like I said, Kyrie had 39. I think Harden had 23. But, um, yeah, it's just going to be really hard to stop this team. And um, actually, I think Harden had a triple-double, I think so. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be really hard to stop this team going forward. I expect them to just go ahead and dominate the East. Giannis had his time as far as dominating the East with his dunks. But now it's time for a real team to come and take over the East and just, you know, keep the East under their wing for the rest of the season because I don't see nobody really beating them in a seven-game series unless it's probably going to be the Lakers or the Clippers. So, like I said, and I don't even think the Lakers really have a chance overall in a seven-game series. I think Brooklyn could probably beat the Lakers in six games. I think it would take them seven games to possibly maybe beat the Clippers. But uh, like I said, um, I definitely can't wait to see how it's going to go pan out going forward. Um, it's a lot more games to be played, so we have a lot more things to be excited about. But uh, overall, this game was great. And um, hey, shout out to the Nets, man. They they came up with a big win. And um, yeah, shout out to the Clippers too. You know what I'm saying? They riding high still. They actually still, um, like I said, own the tiebreaker, I think, in the West as the number one seed. So, you know, they're doing good as well. So with that being said, um, hey, till next time.